Hello everyone. Today I'd like to share with you getting started in Artisan 5. Have you ever wondered about doing some digital scrapbooking but are a little bit intimidated by the software out there like Photoshop and Photoshop Elements? Let me show you how easy it is for you to get started with Forever Artisan 5. We'll begin with a simple project using drag and drop for photos and a couple of other things that you can use for enhancements on your page. I promise it will be really easy and simple and straightforward. Hi, I'm Jenny Gilbert. I'm an ambassador with Forever and one of my favorite Forever products is Artisan 5. It's my pleasure to teach you how to get started in this. And if you have any questions at all, please pop them in the comments below. Let's get started. The very first thing you'll need to do, if you haven't done it already, is download the program. So head over to forever.com forward slash ambassador forward slash Jenny Gilbert and download the program. Let's have a look. Here we are in the Forever home page. If we click on scrapbooking, that will take you to where you can download and try for free Artisan for 30 days. That's what I would like you to do right now. Once you've downloaded and installed the program, open it up and we'll get started. When you first open up Artisan, it will be in basic mode. So I have switched mine to basic mode just to help you get started. We're going to create a new project. So click on create a new project. From there, click project. It will ask you what you want to create once it has populated the options available to you. You can choose all kinds of books, but I'm going to choose hardbound because it's my preference for printing. And then click next. Following this, it will load up any options that you have for pre-designed pages. If you've just downloaded the program, the only one you will have so far is basic white so let's use that click on basic white click next then asks you if you want to add photos I always do this later in the project so click next give your project a name and you can choose a different location to save it if you wish I'm saving it to my default location which is Artisan Projects. That makes everything easy to find. Click Create. And here is our basic album. When you first open Artisan, it is going to have what we call the print guide on. This is a very handy guide for helping you to make sure that you don't end up with photos and text being chopped off in the printing process. For now, we don't need that. So we're going to turn it off. Just go up to the print guide, click that button, and it will go away. In the right-hand side, you can see all of the pages that are already preloaded with photo slots for you. The other thing I should talk about is what you actually see in your screens here. So we have elements panel on the left and your content panel on the right. The elements panel on the left will show you everything that is on your page. So at the moment on the page, there is a photo frame. You will also be seeing two text boxes. On the right hand side, there are three menus. One is your pages menu. The second one is your photos menu. And the third one is your content menu. Right now, you probably have nothing in those spaces. We will work our way through them, so don't worry about them too much. At the top, you have a number of menu options that you can do, and they will become active depending on what part of the page you are working on. So we're going to keep this really simple today. Now we want to do the get photos now. So we're going to click on photos in the right hand side get photos I'm going to browse my forever app because that is where I have some photos so okay so put in your login details for forever if you don't have a forever account yet but later you choose to you can sign up to forever here so click the login button 
and here you get another little screen. From here, I can choose any album I like that I have online to download photos. I prefer to use tags, and today I am looking for tags of my grandson. So we need to go right down to the W for William. Just keep clicking, get more tags. Okay, so here is William. There are 138 photos of William in my account. And we're looking for the ones of him in a playground. Okay, here they are. So I have all of these lovely photos of William here from a day at the playground. So I'm going to select all of them by holding down my shift key. Click the first photo, click the last photo with the shift key down and it will automatically select all of those photos. So now I want to get selected. Click get selected and that will import these into my Artisan program. Okay, so the photos have arrived now inside my Artisan program and all I need to do is populate photos into my pages. So I'll take this photo here, drag and drop it into the photo holder. It turns yellow when we're ready to go. Click release and there is that photo of my grandson. And I can give it a title by clicking on the text box at the park. And I can write more of a story down here if you want. Nice and easy, simple as that. That page could be, if that's your style, done. Let's move to the next page using the forward arrow here and that will bring up the next page that I can choose. Uh, this time we'll grab him on the slide for the big photo. We'll get this slide photo for that one and then maybe one that's a bit more distant. Um, Let's see, let's try this one here. Now this isn't the right shape or size for this photo holder, but I can move it around. I can make it bigger and refit where everything is in the photo. I don't really want my daughter's bottom there, so I'll pull that out, move it over a bit, and that's a bit more centered there. So we can put in a text here, sliding. Now, if you want to change the font, that is easy too. You just click on that text box. You can choose a different font, like adequate, for example. I can make it bold, I can make it bigger, I can make it smaller. You can resize the text boxes, you can move where they are. It's entirely up to you. Make sure you hit save. The program will automatically save for you if you move along to the next page. Now we want to put a little bit of decoration on these pages. So let's move over to the content panel. When you first start using Artisan, one of the first things you might like to do is of course decorate your pages with just a little bit of content. To begin with your content, click on the content panel and chances are you will only have a very small selection right now. If you click on All Kits, that will pop out another menu. In this menu, you can see that there are going to be all the recent things that you clicked on and your total content library. It begins with the built-in kits. Underneath that, there is a folder for commercial art kits, font kits and personal art kits. Below that are categories and tags. I will cover all of these in a future video. For now, we're going to look at just your built-in kits. You should have four. Enjoy the Ride Sampler, Party Time Sampler, Reflections Sampler, and Secret Garden Sampler. Now, for the purposes of the photos that I've chosen today, the best one is going to be Enjoy the Ride Sampler. So that's the one I will choose. When I finish choosing my content, I will then click the heading up the top to remove that pop-out menu and we're ready to get started with decorating the page. One thing to remember when you're doing digital scrapbooking is it's all about the layers. So here we have the layer of the paper on top. We're going to click and drag that so it's down underneath all of the photos. 
The same can happen with these two elements here. I'll turn them back on. We can swap them around and put them in different places if that's what we want to do. So here I've got a really nice bright red, yellow and blue that I could use on this page. If I click on the blue one, I can add it to the page and that puts it on the top. I need to slide it underneath all of the photos so I'll move it down. And there it is, you have a nice page uh, with some color. If we go to the embellishments, we want to put a little bit of fun in here. I can add these stars, they're a bit of fun. We'll do two of those. Maybe we can put a little uh, paper flower on there. So these are nice and easy again to nimby, like grab the handles, make it smaller and move it into the position that you want. Now I actually want the blue one on top of the stripy one. So I'll just reorder them. And we don't need this text box anymore so I can actually delete it. Now this title sliding is a bit lost. We're going to make a different choice here. Um, let's pick something bold. We'll make it a bit bigger and we'll change the color to red. Click OK. And we might put in one more word here. So I'm going to insert a text box. I can indicate down here what I want to fill it with. Here's my editor. I want the word fun. and we will choose a different font for this one. We'll go with this. We want it nice and big. Maybe bigger. There's a preview on the page that you may not be able to see. There we go. And the color for this one, I don't really want black. Let's go with a really dark blue. There we go. And now all I've got to do is move that into the place where I want it. I might just rearrange these words a little bit. Click create to finish the editing on that. There we go. And that's it. As simple and easy as that, we have a page done. Save your project and when you close out of this project it will appear as the last open project in your thumbnails here ready for you to come in and do some more. That's how easy it is to use this program in the very basic mode for people who don't feel confident about using digital scrapbooking software. It's an easy way to get started and of course you've got me to help you all of the way. So there you have it. Simple, easy steps, drag and drop photos, type text just like you would in a Word document, add a few stickers to the page and it's done. It's really not difficult and of course I'm here to help you every step of the way if you want to have a go. Head on over now to forever.com forward slash ambassador forward slash Jenny Gilbert and get yourself this program and give it a shot for 30 days. Let me know if you do that so that I can help you. Bye-bye for now.